When working in trigonometry, sometimes we measure angles in degrees, and sometimes we measure them in radians. We're going to go over that next. Welcome to Math Bites. I'm Allison, and today we're talking about degrees and radians. So let's start by defining a radian measure. Now, I have a circle here, and I have one radius that goes from the center to point A on the circle, and another radius that goes from the center to point B on the circle. And that distance along the circle between A and B is called an arc, and we'll just give it length s. And you'll notice those two radii form an angle at the center, which we'll call theta. Now, we say that arc AB subtends angle theta, okay? All right, so here's the definition of a radian measure. Given an arc of length s on a circle of radius r, the measure of the central angle subtended by the arc is theta equals s over r, so the length of the arc divided by the radius. Okay, stay with me, we're getting there. Now remember that the circumference of a circle, the distance around the outside, is equal to 2 pi r. So if we did that, if we traveled all the way around the outside, the arc would be the circumference. That would be the length of the arc that we traveled. So according to our formula, we would have theta equals s over r. In this case, that's equal to 2 pi r over r, or 2 pi. Now, if we did that, if we traveled all the way around our circle, we would also have traveled 360 degrees. That implies that 360 degrees is equal to 2 pi radians, or 180 degrees equals pi radians. So, if you need to convert from radians to degrees, you multiply by 180 over pi. And if you need to convert from degrees to radians, you multiply by pi over 180. Okay, let's do an example. Let's convert these degree measurements to radians. So let's start out with 15 degrees. All right, so I'm going to multiply by pi over 180. So we have 15 times pi over 180. That's equal to 15 over 180 times pi. Now we can reduce 15 and 180. They're both evenly divisible by five, for example. So that reduces to three over 36 pi, which reduces to 1 over 12 pi, or pi over 12. So in radians, 15 degrees measures pi over 12. Okay, what about our next one? Negative 127 degrees. Same thing, you just multiply it by pi over 180. So we have negative 127 over 180 times pi. Now, when we do that division, we get that it's equal to negative 0.705 repeating times pi, and we can approximate that by rounding off and approximating pi, and we come up with about negative 2.215 radians. Okay, let's convert these radian measures to degrees, and we're starting with 17 pi over 6. So now I'm going to multiply 17 pi over 6 times 180 over pi. That's my conversion factor. Now those pi's will cancel out, and I can reduce that 180 on the top with the 6 on the bottom, and that gives me 30. So I get 17 times 30, which is equal to 510 degrees. Okay, how about this one? Pi over 7. So same thing, I have pi over 7 times 180 over pi. The pi's cancel out, so I have 180 divided by 7, and that is approximately 25.714 degrees. Just remember that 180 degrees is equal to pi radians. So as long as you remember that, you can use that conversion factor to go from degrees to radians or radians to degrees. That's it for this episode of Math Bites. If you like our videos, please subscribe to our channel. And if there's something you'd like to ask us, just send us an email. We're at contactmathbites at gmail.com, and we will see you next time.